everyone, it's Muriel, Miss Cooper's Coop, After Dark. It's been a while since I've done an episode. I've just been so busy. So I'm not sure if this is episode number eight or nine, but it really doesn't matter. What matters is that I'm back on the air. <laughs> so it's a little past midnight. I know I shouldn't be up. I have my car to take to get um, service tomorrow have jazzercise at 8 o'clock, so wish me luck. But I did want to um, come and talk with you guys, especially those late night scrappers that are still up and need that small bit of inspiration to kind of keep them going. So Ms. Cooper is here, and I have an update on my treat bags that everyone made. My daughter and I went to, uh, we went shopping tonight at the mall. She loves to go shopping. We had um, her birthday gift cards, and um, she's going to be just like her mother. She just blew through, through those things. You know, if something came to $38.23 and the card had $40 on it, we, she and I were like, love, we'll take two of those rings. Um, so, okay, so now it's thirty nine fifty. Okay, so we'll take one of those straws. We just wanted to get the card maxed out. It was so funny. So while at the mall, I picked up some items from Bath and Body Works that I have stuffed in my treat bags. And if you're interested in knowing what all it can hold, let me show you. Just move the clock out the way and back the sign up a bit. So here is the Thanksgiving one that I made. And um, inside is a lotion, a candle. And down in the corner there is some hand sanitizer. And now the weight is distributed and it's totally solid. The candle is like a pumpkin uh, smell. The lotion is like a warm vanilla. And the hand sanitizer is, you know, cheesecake, something along the line. I just want to keep it really festive. So that one is good. It's good to go. The Halloween one, same thing. These are two straws that I made. I was inspired by an article I saw in one of my magazines. Same thing. Hand lotion, candle, and hand sanitizer. And uh, the box is still going strong. It's not like any weaker with these items in it. And then this one here, another fall box, uh, treat bag. Those three items. And, you know, Bath & Body, they always have a sale. As soon as we walked in, she was shoving those black, one of those black bags in my hand. So I was like, oh, yeah, yeah, I need a bag, sure. But I uh, instantly knew what I wanted. I didn't want to hear about 3 for $25 on the hand soap. I just said, direct me to the um, small trial size items, please, as she did. So these three are ready to go. So I just wanted to show you in case you were wondering what can go in them. Well, I got three nice, lovely uh, thank you gifts. And then I wanted to show you that I have been working on some chunk, mm, chunky charms, or should I call them dangles? I'm not sure. I was inspired by watching um, Cynthia over at my scrappy bookworm one. Hi, Cynthia. Good morning. Wake up, Cynthia. Cynthia, it's Muriel. <laughs> you gotta wake up because I got these chunky charms that I made. I want to show you. So, okay, so I'm cray cray. I use these, um, should I say chunky charms? These are bottle cap charms. Oh my gosh. So the bottle caps are, you know, just from my stash. And I kind of cheated because I don't have a paper pad that had small. Um, pictures on them. So I bought these um, stickers from Recollection and they have like a, they like a tag. They have a metal rim around them and I on some of them uh, cut the rim off and then some I just kind of um, glued it within it and then I did the um, stickles with the glossy, glossy accents on the top. Did a little bow and then the three charms. So this is a beautiful uh, glass bead that I had. It comes from uh, Michael's. 
I had a, a, a bowl full of them, and I've been giving them out on racks, and I looked in there, and there's not one um, light color. They're all brown and black and purple and blue. So anyway, so that's the first one there, and I just put this little, um, I guess you want to call it a bee cap charm on top. So let's put that one there. And here is another one. This one has the ghost on it. Just some ribbon that Terry F. gave me in a swap. And then there is the charm. And this one is just a single strand charm. So it has bee caps and pearls and rondelles and those cute little skeleton um, uh, beads that my friend Anayana gave to me. So that's another one. These were fun. And here's one with the cat black ribbon and then here are these three um, charms that I put on these also have the skeleton faces or heads pink and purple with some orange beads That's my third one so I'm going to be um, packaging these up and again send one to each one of my subbies there's one that says boo now there's a silver uh, be charmed there and some gingham ribbon ribbon excuse me and then some more skeleton heads on the on as I am really she just gave me some in a rack and I absolutely love them they are so appropriate this is a cute purple um, bead here with some green beads glass beads that has this cool like a silver netting over them And then, oh, and then th these charms, these bottle caps were from Michael's. I'm sure you know, um, you've seen them. They were the ones that I bought that were, you know, 99 cents. I just went back the other day and got the red ones, but when you smash them, they have that back to them, so I just left them as they were. And here is a spider, and um, there's some ribbon there, and then there's the charms, more skeleton heads, the pink ones and the blue ones, because the spider has, like, pink and, not, like, a purplish, um, on his body with a blue stripe and, and black, so that's that one there, they're so cute, skeleton heads, and then this is a, um, dangle that Anna Giannis had given to me, so she put this clip on it with this cute gingham ribbon and two skeleton heads and, and rondelle and a bead cap. Well, I liked it so much that I thought I would duplicate it, but change it just a bit. So here's my black and white ribbon, and there's the clip, and I'm using the um, skeleton head that Anna gave me. So I pulled out a cream color one, too, and I got some rondelles and some um, these separators, dividers, I don't know what you want to call them, but I picked them up at Michael's. I'll show you a few because there was a strand of them of several different kinds. So there's that one there, and then there's these kind here. And they're a little bit larger, so they worked out perfect. Okay, so that's uh, mine, and then there's Anna's, and then there was a yellow skeleton head in the batch. And same thing, ribbon and a clamp. So, this is my altered bottle cap charms and my skeleton dangle. And I want to thank you for um, sticking with me tonight. Oh, there is one more thing I want to show. Let's just put those over here. I had made some Halloween cards. And some of the stuff I used to make them... Um, did I put them away? I hope I didn't. I used two of the, um, oh goodness, where is the paper pad that? I used paper pad from Webster's Pages. And where are you, little paper pads? Mm. Oh, there they are. Sorry. Oh my gosh, it's just been one of those. Oh, one of those days. Okay, so, here is one paper pad, the Treats, Tricks and Treats, and this is by Pebbles. Picked this up at Marshall's. And then these here, 
kind of gather them together, are from Webster's Pages. I'll get to the front and you can kind of see what it looks like. But I just use a combination. Oh, goodness. Here we go. Sorry about that. Just a little disheveled, and I thought I had it together here. Okay, so that's that paper pad here. And I got that uh, when I ordered the um, Webster's Pages warehouse sale. This had came in it. Um, and it just wasn't nowhere near Halloween, so I just kind of put it away. And then I was looking in a magazine, and I saw that they had referenced a Webster's Pages uh, once upon a Halloween collection. Ding, 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 bell went off. So, these are the two that I use to make these cards. And I use some of my favorite trim from Craft Supplies 1. Looks like this. It's a cute flower trim. And I use some purple flower trim here. These cute little witches hats that I picked up at my local um, card making store called Impress. So these are like brads. So they're witches hats. They're brads. And more flowers from Craft Supplies. One, the beautiful purple. Some ribbon from Celebrate. Just use a couple of pieces of those. And these are um, from Webster's Pages. They're just some cut out little tags. And I use them on the back of the cards. I'll show you how. Of course, you got to have your recollection uh, bling trim. And of course, some... Um, rose some um oh, what are these called some oh my gosh these things rosette trim and oh and I use a piece of this loopy trim here it's all like glittered and really shiny I use a piece of that and the the base of the um cards I use a lot of these die cut card stocks from Kane Company, the Kelly Panacci collection. Just picked these up at Michael's the other day. Um, she really makes some cute die cuts. So they have all kind of uh, tags and, um, you know, Halloween, trick or treat, and, um, you know, like cute little witch and some ghosts and some bats. And, and one side will have some writing on it, and then if you flip it over, there'll be no writing, so you can use it as a journaling tag. So I use some of those, and I think that was it. And of course, they're on the corrugated card because that's what I love to use. So let's show you these. Okay, here is the first one. Very simple, but um, very fun and easy because the the die cut kind of does it all for you. So we have spiders in each corner, and then this cute little um, tag that says "Happy Haunted Halloween." I use um, three layers of paper, actually some black, some white, spiderweb, and purple, and then just a strip of some orange paper that had pictures of trick-or-treat bags. And then on the inside, excuse me, this here, when it's flipped over, it just looks like this, so it's a perfect, perfect journaling spot. So it goes from that to that. Isn't that clever? I cut out like a banner here, and then one of the little tags that says boo. And then on the back, that's how I use that little, um, those little cutouts from Webster's Pages. And just, this one says the coop house. Each one of them say something different. I just forgot what I said before, so then I would change it. <laughs> and then here is this one here. Um, beautiful piece in the middle here that says Happy Halloween. I did a little flower cluster here with some craft supplies, um, one flowers, the purple, and there's that, um, rosette trim, this beautiful beige with the purple stamen, and then I did a stick pin here. This is a purple bead, green, orange, and the stick pin is clear on the top. And then this is some bead spray. I'm sure you've seen them. Marissa had sent me some a long time ago, so I just have it sticking out on the side. And then you can see the uh, bling trim. And this cute little metal embellishment that says boo, I believe that was in a rack that I got from, um, excuse me, Dakota Dawn. I believe her name is Diane. And um, I found that and I thought this is perfect. So I just stuck right there. And then on the inside, there it is there. I'm just using some of that purple trim, some Webster pages. And then this um, had a print on it, but then I just layered it with this die cut. 
the other side has some wording on it and then a cute uh, making memory brad and then on the back there is another one of those little uh, sayings and here I sign my name I told you I was just doing different stuff each time okay now the excuse me third one is this one here it has if you can see those two ghosts I tried to highlight them with a pen on the outside so they would kind of stand out because they're up against beige polka dot paper you know what I was thinking but they are wearing the witch's hat and this background paper is this is the Webster pages um, paper so this one here started with the uh, green polka dot background then I layered it with some orange and then the uh, cream polka dot and here's a cute little die cut. Of course, when you flip it over, that's where you'll be able to do your journaling. There is the craft supplies one trim, and then I just pulled out some really small green flatback pearls that I had in my stash. And then there's that curly loopy, you can kind of see it there, that loopy trim. And then on the inside, I just uh, cut out a piece of the um, paper that had lots of words on it. There is um, a Happy Halloween little die cut and a Making Memories Brad there. Then on the back, that one there says Miss Cooper's Coop. And then the last one for your viewing pleasure is this one here. And again, they were easy because of those die cuts. So there is the Witch Girl. And this started out with some white paper that I did some um, stitching kind of uh, like dash lines, dot, dot, dash line, dot, dot, all the way around. And then there is a two, one of the pattern and then one of the black solid with some of the bat ribbon in between. And then I placed her on some um, background paper here, three little pearls, flat back pearls. There's the pumpkin, and then it had a keep out sign, so I just put some of those making memory brads, and then just kind of raised it up a bit here. And then there's that other uh, die cut with some bling trim. Very simple, but the colors are just pow. And then there's the inside. This is uh, Webster's Pagers uh, paper of a house, and I just took two of the tags from the two of the die cuts, put one on top of the other and then popped it up a little bit. It says Happy Halloween. If I need to do a sentiment, I can do that right there. And then on the back, and that one says Miss Cooper's Coop also. So that's my four cards. You saw my three baskets and you saw my um, altered bottle cap charms. So that's all Miss Cooper's Coop has for you on this episode, but if you're still up and you still have a little wind in you, then I'll be back with a haul that I did from my local scrapbook store, The Mad Scrapper. Take care, everyone.